on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, capturing your desktop and displaying that in ProPresenter 6. Welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Well, this has come up more than once, so I thought that I would address it. Let's say you've got something in another window, in another program, and you want to show that on screen. How would you do it? Well, you would use this software that I'm going to show you. But one thing that I want to say as a caveat, this isn't going to be the greatest, best way of doing things. This is going to be a you-have-no-other-choice kind of way of doing things. So I wouldn't show a video in another screen, capture that, and show it this way. But if you've got a website that maybe doesn't want to load in the internal web browser in ProPresenter, that would work. If you want to show how to use... Let's say you're uh, showing your church's app that you just got made. Maybe this is a way to do it, that kind of thing. Go ahead, but showing video, it may not give you the results that you want. But without further ado, let's head over and take a look. Right now, you might notice that I have a web page up here. This is actually the web page for the tool that I'm going to show you. It's called Cam Twist. Now, the website to get this is Cam, C A M, Twist, T W I S T, Studio, S T U D I O dot com. And this is a great free piece of software that allows you to capture your desktop, any monitor that you ha or projector that you have connected to your computer as a camera. So in ProPresenter, how that's helpful is you can get stuff in that you normally couldn't. So what you're actually seeing here isn't the uh, ProPresenter um, web browser. In fact, it's Chrome. So how did I do it? Well, first I downloaded and installed this guy right here, Cam Twist, and then I went over here to Video Sources, and the two that we care about here are Desktop Plus, which allows you to select just part of a desktop, but its results are kind of iffy. I'll show you in a second, and just Desktop. So what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you Desktop, so I double clicked on that or click select. Ignore all these. These are like effects to make it all wonky. So uh, you don't want that. And this tells you which effect you have chosen. Desktop. And this is the settings. So I can choose um, the main display here. And you'll notice now that shows up here. Or I can choose the... Um, other display that I just had on there or the one that's actually my main out but in doing that that's going to give me some video feedback so we don't want to do that so anyway that is what would normally be my stage display I actually have a website over there so if you've watched this before you know that my stage display is off to the left over here uh, just to the left off of from where you can't see it and so instead of putting up the stage display I just put up a website and that's interesting if you want to show the website and maybe it has some features that the built-in browser doesn't support you'll notice by the way that this isn't formatted exactly right didn't take the time to do it perfectly but you get the gist of what it's doing and you can change the resolution and stuff in here to make it appropriate. Once you get it the way that you want, by the way, you can save presets. I've got some that are just num numbers. And down here is the preset that I used before. Now there's a glitch somewhere 
in this where um, for reasons that I don't know that's showing that's by the way hidden underneath the web browser so it's able to show things that aren't uh, normally available so there we go now we're back to where it is so there's a glitch at least on my Mac in this version of cam twist maybe they fixed it since I didn't check for an upgrade where it won't display all the letters that you type so I went to save setup and I typed Chrome C H R you'll notice I keep hitting R and nothing's happening O M E E not working at all so O worked but E and R didn't work um, and I started to type pro presenter and I got po See, that's just, that's all I get from ProPresenter. So that was supposed to be Chrome ProPresenter, nothing. So it's not perfect, but it is a free piece of software for the Mac that enables you to do this. Um, I would caution you against playing live video with this. You might try it, see if it works on your system, but try it when no one else is around just in case your pastor sees it and says no oh, no that's totally good enough and then it crashes in the middle of service so I want you to know for sure how how it will affect your system to run this because it's kind of processor intensive but another cool thing you can do and I've heard this more than once people have asked about these guys right over here this is a Prezi 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 is a presentation app that's online and so you build it online and then any web browser can display it except the one in ProPresenter is a little limited so it's really not very good but by using this trick you can go ahead and do that over here so I want you to watch here let me move this out of the way <coughs> So you saw that it was moving and everything. Again, you would probably want to change this. You can only show part of a window if you want to with the um, Desktop Plus option. So that's something you can do. I've had people ask if they could play live streaming video through ProPresenter using this. Wouldn't recommend it again because it's kind of processor intensive. But if your system it works fine on, then God bless you, have fun with that, but uh, it's a less than ideal. So that's just another trick, something that's not widely advertised, but something that I've come up with that might help you uh, to use ProPresenter to do maybe a little bit more than Renewed Vision knows that it can do. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you start to think of some ideas about how you can use this little piece of free software to well, basically uh, do some things that maybe you didn't know how to do before. If you like this content, head over to my website, trinitydigitalmedia.com, and uh, check out some of the other great free re resources that I've made for you and some of the paid ones as well. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.